Dean, thank you. Only on News Nation tonight, we have an update to a story that we have been following for some time. Tonight, we've got renewed hope for a teenager who has been suffering from amnesia. Caitlin Little has not been able to form any new memories since a 2017 accident on the track. Well, News Nation's Bob Buckley talked to the family about a special road trip that was a lot more than a vacation. When your every waking hour is spent researching answers to a problem that has baffled even some of the world's greatest researchers. And the first thing I started doing was just setting aside things that I thought you know, were interesting or curious. You build up quite an arsenal of notes. As time has gone on, I've started setting aside things that might be medically significant. To the medical world, Caitlin Little is an enigma. She is patient zero for these types of injuries and then treatments. We've probably talked to 45 doctors by now. Most of the doctors really sincerely want to help. For most of them, it's just not in their field because there are not very many people who have any actual experience with this. Caitlin's father, Chris, has more experience than he ever wished for. So this is from uh, September 1st, 2020. And he's kept meticulous notes on Caitlin's progress since her injury in October of 2017. Uh, something that was noteworthy is that Caitlin slept on the right side of her body and with her head uh, on the right side for the first time in three years, as far as we know. It was formerly too painful for her to have anything touch that side of her head at all where she had the impact from the concussion. For the first time in years, the Littles feel they may finally be on a path to healing. Last year, this time, Caitlin was in very, very bad shape. And... Uh, now she's doing much better. But to begin that healing process, they had to cross the country. They made it their family trip for the year as they took everyone across the heartland in an RV, stopping in campgrounds where the yes. passage of time becomes acute as Chris watches Caitlin play basketball with her brother Ben, who barely came above her shoulders when the accident happened and now yeah. towers over her. Awesome. They were heading to the Dakota Stem Cell Institute. And there's tingling pins and needles in her hands and feet all the time. That's a, I did not know about that. She's where Dr. Raymond that. Pierce treated Caitlin with stem cell therapy. Okay. And right. she said she thought the stem cells would help that. When he was first introduced to stem cell treatment by other physicians, Dr. Pierce himself wasn't convinced of its value. Being kind of a skeptic by nature, it took them, oh, four or five um, educational meetings and five years to convince me that this wasn't just a new form of snake oil. What the Littles like about stem cells is its holistic nature. Nature provides the answer to most of its ills, and this would be an example of that. Exactly. This is probably the most natural healing you could look for when you look for natural products. And These are your own cells, your own DNA, nothing foreign, nothing pharmacologic. They extracted her own stem cells and uh, then concentrated them and put them back in the areas that were damaged. Um, in order to get them in the brain, they put them in a lumbar puncture. Okay, so tell me the truth. This is for posterity and for science. How do you feel? After a few hours had passed, Caitlin didn't remember the procedure that put the stem cells in her back. I have a lot of back pain. Okay, that's normal. And even this conversation turned out to be fleeting. I wasn't finished. What'd you ask? How do you feel? It can take up to six months for those to really kick in. They will last up to a year. But yes, we have seen improvement. The first thing would be she's sleeping, mm -hmm. whereas before she could not probably get in maybe five to six hours of sleep. After the stem cells kicked in, she started sleeping eight to nine hours, which was incredible for her brain. It needed the rest. It keeps that, that still that doesn't 20. keep Caitlin from doing the thing she was doing when she got hurt, running. How many is that in total? Um, down and back is one. Okay. But no matter how far she goes, she still can't outrun her dilemma. I run so my back won't hurt. Bob Buckley, News Nation, Greensboro.